In this video, I'm going to talk about um, making one slide stories in Flourish and the situations in which you might want to do so um, and why you'd make a one slide story instead of just sort of making a visualization and publishing a single visualization. Um, I think this is something that's quite unique to Flourish, so it definitely warrants explanation um, and it's something that's a little tricky to get your head around, but once you do, um, it makes a lot of sense. So to illustrate the need um, and explain a situation in which you may need to do this, um, I'm going to use this line chart race, um, which is showing UK general election results by party um, from every election since 1918. So it's a line chart race, so obviously it animates, um, which is pretty cool. Um, some of it's getting cut off here, but you can see there's um, those new uh, other parties there at the bottom. And say, for example, that I wanted to talk about, uh, I wanted just to show sort of the animation to um, uh, 1970. So when the SNP, um, sort of the first election where the SNP wins seats. Um, and if I do this, and have this uh, sort of, because using this thing, you can move um, the visualization back and forth. And if I want to just show this year, um, sort of like this, this view, if I click export and publish, which makes a lot of sense, you'd think, okay, this is my visualization, I'm gonna export and publish it. Um, it doesn't save that view. Um, it starts at the beginning of the animation and just goes straight through again. Um, and I can even sort of do this again. Oh, maybe something didn't work. I'm going to go to here. And then I'll export and publish again. And it just does the same thing. Um, so to actually, there is a way to actually save this, this sort of view here. Um, and that is using the story editor. So if I could create a, create a story um, from here, in the story editor, Unlike in the visualization editor, as we just saw, you're sort of, it lets you save this sort of point of view or the view of the visualization, which you can't do in the visualization editor. The visualization editor just lets you make the visualization. And since all this data is in there, it's just going to play the animation. But in the story editor, um, you can save the view. So if I do this and go back, same thing that I did in the visualization editor, and now I export and publish this as a story, um, you know, which you can sort of embed in the same way that you would embed a, visualiza a visualization, it stops. Uh, and it stops at this view. So that is the situation, um, a very sort of simple and common situation in which you would want to make one side story. Um, so there are a couple of other ones, like if you wanted to, if you made a cool 3D map and you wanted to kind of zoom into a certain angle and a certain view of it, that's another situation where you would want to use a one side story. Um, and there's another little trick to know about this, which is that right now you can see this navigation bar, which is where you usually would put your caption or whatever if you wanted, um, and where you would click through the story, um, or if it was an autoplay sort of talky situation where it would um, show how far along in the talkie you are. But you can actually get rid of this um, and embed this so it looks basically like it would if it was just this regular line chart visualization. And that trick is just here at the top, um, navigation style is on default, you can set it to none, which will uh, get rid of it. So that just basically looks like your uh, regular line chart race, uh, but it's actually a story. Um, and no one would know really the difference if you um, had embedded this somewhere on a web page. Um, so yeah, so I hope that sort of clears up um, Confusion about animation and stuff like that, and when you might want to use a one-side story. Um, thanks for listening.